On July 5th World's Richest Human, Jeff Bezos announced his retirement as Amazon CEO after three wildly successful decade of the hell. His replacement, Andy Jassy, is rarely known outside tech business circles. Should you care? Yes, this is no part-time corporate reshuffle. Andy Jassy took hold of a company, whose market evaluation is $1.5 trillion. Later this year, he'll instantly become one of the biggest private employers on earth. So exactly who is Andy Jassy? Andrew Ware Jassy was born on January 13, 1968 to a Jewish family of Hungarian heritage. He grew up in Scarsdale, a commuter town in New York State. His father was a senior partner at a law firm named Dewey of Valentine. Always a bright child, Jesse graduated with honors from Harvard College. During years of Harvard Andy dreamed of becoming a sport commentator. Instead, after Harvard, Jesse went to work for the Danbury Mint, a decidedly old-school firm which specializes in miniature cars. After five years of that, he went back to Harvard to study for his MBA. After his final examination in 1997, the year he also married his wife, Alana Kaplan, Jossie took up his next role at a tiny tech startup called Amazon. I didn't know what my job was going to be or my title, he later said. After a few years at Amazon, Jossie found himself in the enviable position of shadowing visionary founder Bezos at company meetings, mostly as his right-hand man. While Amazon had emerged strong from the dot-com bust, finally reporting an annual profit on revenue use of over $4 billion, there was tension at the company meeting, the firm's increasingly desperate teams were unhappy that too much of their time and energy was wasted setting up server capacity, in order to get their pet projects off the ground. A better system of internal scalable server management was needed, and our guide, Jossie was among the first to recognize that whatever solution they cooked for Amazon itself might also be a lucrative product to sell to any other company. How right he was! Flash forward to today and Amazon Web Services also known as AWS, brings about $50 billion a year. Which is 60% of Amazon's total profit. Amazon Web Services, which Andy Jossie led from the start, builds and rents out the highways upon which an astonishing quantity of web traffic runs. Anytime you watch Netflix, watch any streamer on Twitch, leave a review on Yelp, AWS is at work. It's even the basis of the CIA's computer systems. Since the global pandemic kicked off a year ago, AWS has grown still more powerful, providing the essential framework that video chat giant Zoom reliant on. It gets better. Amazon Web Services even provided the crucial computational horsepower that helped biotech firm Maduana develop its COVID-19 vaccine in lightning quick time. Although it's by no means the best-known wing of Amazon's sprawling empire, most people have never heard of it. Andy Jossie's pivotal role in helping AWS dominate cloud computing made him the logical choice for Bezos to single out at his heir. So what can we look forward to from Andy Jossie's leadership, as you may expect from one of its most valuable employees, Jesse Eats? sleeps and breathes Amazon's famously frothy Despite corporate culture, Despite his own considerable fortune, his estimated at just shy of half a billion dollars and the vast resources imminently to be at his disposal, and he should follow Jeff Bezos' lead and focus on customer experience over stock market value. Which is you to can't feel 30% smarter when the stock is up 30% because then you'll have to feel 30% dopier when the stock is down 30%, is right and usually neither Jesse's is true. Jesse's also fond of saying there's no compression algorithm for experience which is around about where saying you need to grind for a long time before you get to the top, just as AWS did its dominant position over a relative latecomer to the cloud Google and Microsoft is at least partly because Amazon, as so often was their first. We are going to see Jesse following the path of his predecessor, by expanding the tech giant more. Even if any given expansion doesn't necessarily feel like a natural fit for Amazon, a lot of companies only pursue businesses that are adjacent or look like an extension of their current business, he said, which by the way is a completely rational strategy. But we pursue the business even if it has hardly anything to do with the other businesses Amazon is in. Well, he's certainly managed it to AWS, 
turning an online bookseller into a preternaturally powerful web services giant. Is Andy Jazzy a good fit for the role? Is his experience with AWS enough to help him run the world's biggest company?